I tend to not refer to this stuff as gun violence. I tend to think that it's just irresponsible people with guns. And I think that we need to start calling people out for the violence that they're inflicting on our children. We get better accountability that way rather than talk about an inanimate object like a tool, like a gun. The gun doesn't do anything until somebody picks it up and does something with it, right? Now, I'm getting this story from AtlantaNewsFirst.com. But before we get into the story and talk about this young man that you guys see on my screen, let me give you guys a disclaimer so you will understand what we're discussing first. Some viewers may find the following content offensive and controversial. The information in this video comes from multiple sources, including court records, official police charges, news web articles, and interviews. This video commentary also contains my personal opinions about the facts of this story. The point is to use this story as a cautionary tale in hopes of preventing tragedies like these to children going forward. Viewer discretion is advised. That is your official disclaimer. And let me tell you guys, a crazy part about this story is I think they're trying to say that this was an accidental shooting. And I mean, to be honest, I read through this a couple times and none of it made any sense. But again, Atlanta, AtlantaNewsFirst.com. Thank you for the article. So East Point, Georgia, charges are pending for people wanted in the connection to the deadly shooting of a nine-year-old boy on Saturday evening in Metro Atlanta. East Point police said that this was not a random act of violence and that they're working with the district attorney's office about the potential charges for the people wanted in connection to the deadly shooting. The information that I've received from detectives have given me some peace and I know I'm not always going to be okay, but I'm, I just wanted justice for my baby and I know I'm going to have justice for my baby, said Joy Black, who is the victim's mother. <clears throat> just minutes before the shooting, the boy that you guys just saw on my screen, let me back it up just for a second. He's a handsome young man. His name is King Javier Black, had been safe with his family. Joy Black and her 16-year-old daughter, <clears throat> and her 16-year-old daughter said that the family had returned from swimming at a nearby aquatic center when King said he wanted to go outside and play with his friends. Moments later, someone knocked on their front door with news that her boy had been shot. I just went to him and I told him, I love you, stay strong, I need you, stay strong, mommy's here, said Joy Black on Wednesday. The family has set up an online fundraiser and plans to donate some of the funds to anti-gun violence organizations. No arrests have been made in connection to King's death, but police said that they are confident that arrests will be made soon. But like I said, I think that's kind of contradictory. To There's another article that actually says that they're deeming this as an accident. Let's talk about this GoFundMe. Since people in America apparently don't believe in life insurance, but we do believe in putting up GoFundMe's. Now, some people might be alarmed by the amount that they're asking for in the GoFundMe, $20,000. They've collected more than half of that so far, $11,250. And I think that amount is actually going up at a pretty steady rate. So they're more than likely going to reach that $20,000 goal. So I'm not going to harp about that too much, but I do believe that we all should have life insurance. The family circle should be responsible for our life and death and burials. Because that inevitable thing will happen to us all. Tragedies do happen and I think that we all should be prepared. Okay, let me give you guys the fair usage. Let's talk about these news stories. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. If you guys are listening to the sound of my voice, if you'll do me a favor and please click that thumbs up. If you'll share this video and share this story, more people can see it and spread this news so that we can hopefully get some real justice here. Because I don't think there are enough eyes on this story at all. Moment of peace for a grieving mother in East Point. Police say they now believe they now know who shot and killed her nine-year-old son last weekend. Tonight, his mother spoke exclusively with Atlanta News First, Tori Cooper. 
Yeah, King's mother says she will not let her son die in vain, and East Point police say they're confident there will be justice in this case. Ooh, it's a love Until tonight, Joy Black has been feeling nothing but pain and anguish. The information that I've received from the detectives have given me some peace. East Point police say they now believe they know who shot and killed her nine-year-old son, King Javier Black, when he left the house to go play outside with other children in the neighborhood. Ten minutes after he left, someone showed back up to his front door and told his mother he had been shot. I just went to him and I just told him, I love you, stay strong. Black recalling the moment she held her bleeding son in her arms before he died at the hospital. Tonight, investigators say they now know this wasn't a random act of violence and they will be making an arrest soon. And I know I'm going to have justice for my baby. Now, King's mother says that she will be fighting with other moms to advocate for more programs for children to get involved in. East Point police say they will be releasing more information soon. Doing what every normal kid want to do is play outside. No child should have to die like that. I laid there and I had to watch my baby fight. I and mean, I just told him to keep fighting. It's certainly hard to hear words from an East Point mother breaking your heart tonight. That woman held her nine year old son as he took his last breath. That boy was shot while he was just outside being a kid playing with his friends. Atlanta News first reporter Amanda Rose was able to have a conversation with that. I don't want to keep harping about this, but y'all got to stop doing balloon releases. It's trashing the community. It's dangerous. And in some places, it's actually illegal to do balloon releases. They were doing good with the sparklers and candles. That was good. I think we need to start doing more candlelit vigils, like stuff like that. Boys family. This memorial here on East Washington Avenue was set up by the family of King Javier Black. At the spot, the nine-year-old was fighting for his life after a gunshot. I found my baby laying on his stomach. Gasping for air. It's an unimaginable reality for one Atlanta mother, her only son bleeding to death right in her arms Saturday night. Just minutes before, the boy had been safe with his family. Joy Black and her 16 year old daughter, Currency Paul, tell us the family had just come back from swimming at a nearby aquatic center when King said he wanted to go outside and play with friends. Just 10 minutes later, someone knocked on their front door with the unthinkable news that the boy had been shot. I just went to him and I just told him I love you, stay strong. I need you to stay strong for me. Mommy's here. The family is now desperate to find King's killer. They say King was a ray of light, always happy and smiling. This is a sweet boy to know him is to love him. Honestly, to know him is to love him. Black now fighting for other families who have to suffer at the hands of gun violence. I don't want my son at the dying vein. I want his name out there. I just want something out there for gun violence against children. We lose to too many of our kids out here. There have been right now, East Point police say they are searching for the person who shot and killed a nine year old boy while he was out playing with neighborhood friends. And while East Point police haven't publicly named a suspect, late this afternoon, police announced they have identified everyone involved in the shooting. Tracy A. McPierce spoke with the victim's mother. She's joining us now live from the East Point Police Department. Tracy, what do you know? Well, police just told us in the last two hours that they now believe that King Black was shot inside a home rather than out on the street. They say there's no suspect in custody, while Black's family tells me they want justice now. He's walking out the door. He's like, I love you, Mom. And I was like, I love you too, babe. It seemed like five minutes later, someone's knocking on the door and said, your son's been shot. Joy Black says this memorial on East Washington Street in East Point marks the spot where her nine year old son King Black was killed on Saturday night. He was like in the sports. He just liked to be outside, be a normal kid and just play with his friends. His mom says he was a rising fourth grader at Hamilton E. Holmes Elementary School who loved music and dreamed of one day having his own children. When I get older and I'm going to be a dad. I don't know why he's always saying that. 
but he always said he wanted to be a father. Joy says they'd spent the day at the pool together, and when they returned home around 6.30, King ran outside to play with friends. Uh, all I heard, all I can remember from that day is just the banging on my door. It's like, King's been shot. I just ran over there. She says she found her son with his friends just one street behind her house. And he was collapsed, laying down on his stomach, just bleeding really bad. And I just lay next to him and I just told him to be strong and I love him. King died at the hospital. East Point police telling 11 Alive that after interviewing witnesses, the investigation is still active, but they now believe he was shot inside a home before collapsing outside. Joy says King fought for his life and she will spend her life fighting for him. I want justice for him. I want justice for my son. No baby deserves to die like that. Now Black says that she's originally from Michigan and she'd like for King to be buried there. So the family is looking forward to today. We are working to get updates as East Point police wrap up interviews in the shooting death of a nine year old boy. I know some of these videos might be a little bit hard to hear as far as the audio. So let me just kind of give my closing thoughts on this. For whatever it is that happened, like I say, I just hope that they definitely do get justice. I don't know if it was an accident. I don't know if it was intentional, but it sounded like they were trying to say it was an intentional initially because I read from a couple different articles and then the police were trying to say maybe it was accidental. They're going to be making arrest soon. I don't really know what's going on here. So if we can indeed get some real answers and potentially get some real charges and get some real justice then maybe we can represent this story, come back and talk about this another day when they do get all of the information out there and we'll do an update on this story. For now, today, young prince, R.I.P. And just to lose his life, and he lost his life for what? You know, somebody else's anger, their irresponsibility, or whatever the case is, is just no excuse for that. So, you know, just... Feel bad for him for losing his life for absolutely no reason. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Thank you.